Hi, I'm going to show you how to create perfect credit card form. I always like to start with a basic structure of the interface in mind. Bare boxes represent general content pieces and space that will be filled with UI elements. This allows me to really stay focused. This is a wireframe, so I'm setting colors to the grayscale. I'm already thinking about the importance of the elements and their meaning. Ok, the basic structure is almost done. Just a final element. And the whole structure is ready. And now let's create a call to action button. Call to action should be precise. Don't try general things like continue, ok or done. These kinds of phrases don't create a context for the whole process and might confuse your customers. Complete transaction is much better. And now I'm going to create a headline. In the headline I'm looking for something emotional, but not too catchy. After all, we want our users to go forward smoothly. I will also add a, a subheadline. We accept Visa, Mastercard, American Express. If your card is not on the list, let us know. With this statement, I'm informing my customers about accepted credit cards, but at the same time, I'm offering much needed support. If your customers are using credit cards that are not supported, you really need to know about it. I'm just making some aesthetic adjustments. The links on the wireframes might be blue. And I'm done. When people are reaching for their credit cards, you want them to feel safe. If you fail to provide a safe looking environment, your credit card payment form will be a disaster. I'm adding a small lock icon to the top of the form. And I want to indicate that this is a safe place. I'm going to inform my customers about the technical safety provided by the SSL protocol. That's forming positive frame around the whole form. I really want it to stand out, so I'm putting huge contrast on this element. Now is the time for probably the most important but and at the same time the easiest thing while designing a, a credit card payment form. Important form fields. Uh, I assume that due to a back transaction mechanism I don't need to know my customer's name to proceed with payment but I need the CVV code and of course the credit card number. That's a popular pattern especially in the US. You must remember that uh, size of the form field should really be adjusted 
to the content that users will be providing in this place. So the CVV input is really tiny, it just needs to be adjusted to 3 or 4 digits. The credit card number should easily fit 16 number credit card number, so it must, must be uh, much longer. Okay, and we are good to go. Probably the silliest mistake you can make is to force your customers to go back and forth to your service to check how much money they will send you by typing in their credit card number. I'm putting the price on the right of my form fields to make sure that my customers will be aware of the price they are going to pay. I want to make sure that nothing worries my customers at the moment of purchase. I not only inform them about the price, but also I let them know that a refund is possible. When it comes to labels, I'm trying to be direct and precise. Your credit card number is much better than mere number. I'm placing additional lock icon inside the credit card number field to reassure users that it's safe to type in their number. I want my form to respond quickly to user input, so I design a place for a credit card icon at the right of the credit card number field. My form should recognize type of the card based on user's input. By putting a slash between two selects of the expiration date, I'm addressing the mental model created by credit cards. This is the format of data used on most credit cards in the world. The security code is always a tricky field, so I have security, to, a security to with my textual prompt, last three digits on the back, Amex 4 on the front, as well as I'm going to add a, a, an icon showing where to find the codes.
That's it folks, the form is ready. If you wish to use this particular form in your, in your designs, you'll find the link to UX pin wireframing template in the description of the video. You'll find more information about UX design in my articles at designmodel.com. Application used in this video is UXPIN, the UX design app. Sign up at uxpin.com. Thank you.